So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And this is now today's lineup. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. They do appear, Jim Beglin, to be going with a 5-3-2 formation. Well, it's an attempt, Peter, to put a solid bedrock in place and negotiate the game from there. If they can absorb what comes towards their box in the early stages, then the midfield can begin looking for more of the possession and can start thinking about a more probing influence on the contest. It all depends on keeping their goal intact, so they won't have to open up and indulge in, in taking risks at the other end. And already we're underway here. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Malcolm, and he's there to clear it. Forward it goes. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Difficult to choose between them early on. Not many chances yet. It's come loose. Trying to get there. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Gets into a dangerous position. Good idea, just poorly executed. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? And the finish! Chance to break. No goals as yet. Hefty whistle's gone, and the referee has given a penalty. Zenit St. Petersburg present their opponents with the best possible chance here. A lot of furious gesticulation, but it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. And he's kept it out. And that's a poor pen. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to equalise, but now he'll feel like the opposition have just scored. And the shot! chance and it's a goal the breakthrough strike well he was never gonna miss from there oh peter you can't teach that you either have it or you don't his anticipation is on another level to everyone else's superb
Ufa take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Quick glance at goal. Gets good distance on it. Zenit St. Petersburg get it back again. Well, that's where he wants it. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Dashing forward at pace. Hoists it high. Looks to clip it forward. There will be one more at a time. And there's the end of the first half. Well, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. And we're off again. Zenit St. Petersburg don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Bauer. Bauer conjuring up some magic on the right hand side. Looking for space out wide. Could try cutting inside here. Bauer plays it in. Oh, needless to goes for it. Malcolm. Just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Oh, good interception. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. to get it forward quickly. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the stats are pretty telling here. It's hard to argue with the scoreline when you carry so little threat. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. That's sprayed out wide. Now can he finish? What an adventurous run from a defender. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. 
look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the past could have completed its journey. Zenit St. Petersburg are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Gets away from his opponents. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Asmoon. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Malcolm. There's only one word for this. It's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. He's had a go! He scores! They have stolen level at the last! Zenit St. Petersburg are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. All square again into the dying minutes. Bauer. Juba. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. And the shot! In for the follow up! Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, nobody is totally satisfied, but it was a, a more than decent game, a super watch, and it ends in a draw. Your reflections then, Jim. Zenit St. Peter's.